Hi, my name is Jennifer Johnson, and I'm the director of the Graduate Accounting Program here at the University of Texas at Dallas. I'm very excited to be talking with you today about careers in accounting. Specifically, I'm going to spend my time talking about careers in corporate accounting or management accounting. But let me take a step back first and just tell you what a great career path you have chosen by being an accounting major. Accountants have the opportunity to do so many things, and over the course of your lifetime, you will find that your accounting career changes and evolves into so many different areas and so many different opportunities. You've picked a fantastic career, and there are so many paths you can go down. I encourage you to take a few minutes to understand all of those different paths and choose one which appeals to you, which you have some interest in. It doesn't mean that you will do this for the rest of your life. It just means that this might be an area you focus in during your studies. As you progress throughout your career, you will find that you will turn into a different type of accountant. You'll advance, you will grow, and you will get to do more and more exciting and different things. So congratulations on your choice about being an accountant, and I welcome you to investigate all the different opportunities you have. Now I'm going to take just a few minutes of your time to talk specifically about a career path in corporate or management accounting. When you talk about or think about corporate or management accounting, really the focus is going to be on people who work inside a business. These are almost internal consultants to the people in the accounting area as well as to other business operations. So come along with me as I talk about corporate and management accounting. Now let's talk about careers in corporate or managerial accounting. What is a corporate or managerial accountant? As I said, these are accountants who work inside a company or a business. They have a wide range of titles. They are called staff accountants, they are called financial analysts, and they work themselves all the way up to the controller or the CFO. All companies have to have accountants. You've got to produce financial statements, you've got to have budgets, you've got to have all of your accounting information completed. So these roles as a corporate or a managerial accountant are the internal workings of the accounting department as well as the accountants who work in business operations. I want to take a second and walk through three specific areas that people think of when they think of a corporate or a managerial accountant. The first area that somebody might focus on, if you're going to do corporate or managerial accountant, is financial management, corporate finance, or treasury. In this role, the accountant is focusing on the financing needs of the business. You will be working with banks to secure loans. You'll be working with investors to secure financing. You might be managing the cash and investments of the company. And you might get involved in doing business deals, such as acquisition and sales. If this type of role sounds interesting to you, you are probably an accountant who also has a propensity towards finance and banking. Many people have done a dual degree path with accounting and finance and find themselves in this role. They often work in the treasury department or in the corporate finance department of a business. Another area that management or corporate accountants focus on is financial reporting. In the financial reporting group of a company, this team is responsible for the preparation and presentation of the financial statements. If you have a large corporation, this may also involve the consolidation process of all your corporate entities. In this role, you're going to be reviewing new accounting rules. You're going to be analyzing the impact of those rules on the company and how you go about doing the accounting for those changes. A lot of people in the financial reporting area also have oversight of the company's core accounting and reporting system. If you are a person who really enjoys the debits and the credits, you find the accounting rules interesting, you enjoy the accounting process, then financial reporting is probably an area you will migrate to. A lot of folks in financial reporting are people who have left the public accounting arena uh, and they were auditors or part of the assurance team in a prior career path. 
Financial reporting is often a very comfortable and easy transition from the role of a public accountant. In this area, you've got to have a really strong understanding of those detailed accounting rules, and you've got to be able to take those accounting debits and credits and communicate the financial results of the company. That leaves us with the management accountant. We've talked about the cash and financing side of the business. We've talked about the financial reporting group who prepares the external reports. What that leaves then is the rest of the accounting that goes on in the business. Your manufacturing area has to have a budget and accounting done. Your human resources or marketing area has to have a budget and has to have accounting done for its events and transactions. So a management accountant really focuses on a business area or a functional area of the company and helps prepare and present financial reports for internal business use of that business area or functional operational area. You get to combine not only your understanding of accounting, but also your use of business operations. You're going to have to deal with a lot of folks who probably don't understand accounting details. So you're going to need to be the translator or the communicator and take that accounting information and make it understandable and readable to a non-accountant. If you've got a passion for both the business side of a business as well as the accounting side, then a management accountant might be a great step for you. This is probably the most flexible of all the positions, allows you to move between departments and areas, but still keep the fundamental accounting training that you have. I've talked about three different possible opportunities of managerial or corporate accounting. Now, the career path, it's very broad. It has both a vertical career path and a horizontal career path. And there really is no exact defined structure. How you move throughout a company really depends on the size of the company, the structure of the company, and your own personal goals. You may move from department to department to department if you're a management accounting. First supporting operations, then supporting maybe manufacturing, then supporting maybe a corporate function. You may also move up and progress as you do those changes and roles. Don't be disappointed if your advancement is horizontal and not vertical. What you should be looking for in every advancement is taking on more responsibility, advancing in terms of your management of people, as well as taking special projects. So again, the career path is very, very diverse, both vertical and horizontal, um, and there is no specific prescribed methodology. I wanted to just lay out a couple common job titles. So if you went to one of the career search websites, what kind of job might you be looking for? And I've separated these by years of experience. In your early years, you're going to be looking at a staff level like a staff general ledger accountant, or a staff accountant, or maybe somebody who's over staff financial accounting. As you move up, have three to six years, they might call the role more senior, and it might be a senior GL accountant or a senior accountant. As you get to about six years of experience, this is where you get into the manager level, and maybe you're the manager of the financial accounting and reporting area, or you are a manager of accounting for operations. And then ultimately you may bring that back in as the assistant controller, controller, or CFO of the entire organization that you work for. As you can see, this career path is wide and varied and has lots of different titles and opportunities. Most people who go down this path will have a CPA, and they may also add to that CPA what is called a CMA, a Certified Management Accountant. There is a whole organization associated with people who do management accountant, and it's referred to as the Institute of Management Accountants. I've provided their website here for you so that you can do a little bit more research on your own. I wish you the best of luck in your career searches, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ever ask any of our team here.